but my cameraman, director, film cutter and guide has been away for a couple of weeks. So now we're back here in Phuket and we, it's the first time that we are in the new shopping center. It's Central Floresta, we had so far Central Festival and now the new side is Central Floresta and we're going to explore a little bit and go home, buy a couple of things and also go to eat as well. So come and join me. So generally this is like any other shopping center with all the normal shops and nice and cool with the air conditioning but what we really like here is actually the food court the food court is really nicely made and has lots of choices so let's go down and see what there is what i really like here is that the way everything is done, I mean, look at the, the, the sky ceiling with the flowers on top here. So this is the bottom floor here. And there's actually a lot of little things as well that one can bring home as a tourist. Little Thai things, so it's really, really nice. So let's just go through and look at the stuff a little bit. All the, the Thai goodies made here, the coconut wood, some clothes and other stuff. It's really nice. Maybe a little bit kitschy. Somehow I like them, so colorful. stations and they're really really cool so follow me we're going through the whole thing a little bit we look at the different stands the foods and I'm sure we'll stop somewhere and have something to eat Now this one here is actually made with like a floating market. So we have the little stands and you can just go along and, and buy the goodies. So let's have a look what this is. Some Thai desserts. They're really sweet. Some fresh mango. Oh, it smells good. This one's here are the Thai pancakes. They're nice and crispy and have usually some sweet sauce on it or sweet bubble. Oh, well, I think we need to get some from here. Okay, I got a taste of Mmm, this one's nice. I feel the cookies. Thank 
Pancakes. Mm. Very nice. But I think we're getting a bag of the nice crispy ones. Because these ones are good, but the others are bad. new central food hall so now we have two central food halls and actually the one part I like the most is just behind us here so it's like a little mini buffet where you can eat and just drink something and it's actually really nice the wine section is fantastic too but mine is so expensive we're not buying it anyway so but that's definitely the best part but we're going over to the other side usually and buy the food there because it's close to our bus station Caught me out, but this is like a Swiss bread, it's my absolute favorite bread ever. I bet it's so nice. I'm just staying here now and eating a bit bread. No, I shouldn't eat bread, but it's good. Mm. the traditional food court here you have in Thailand. It's a bit like poker stores, but it's all cashless. So you have a cash card that you buy, and then you just load money on it, and you can go through and buy whatever you feel like. And when you finish at the end, you give the card back, and if there's money left, of course, then you get it back. So it's actually a really nice way that there's no cheating, no nothing. Everything has its price, but you have a huge choice because it really starts from the one side going all the way here and in the middle. So we'll just go through, we we'll look first and then we get the cash card and we buy something. Okay, so the first dish is ready. I just had some prawn fried rice that is served in an omelette. And it actually looks really, really good. What I like is as well the photo that actually showed on the on the whole stand looks very much the same like this here. A little Thai basil, Ooh, some nice prawns inside, nice and hot. Mm. Mm. A little spicy. I asked him for baby spicy. <laughs> This is fancy. It's nice. My god, it's nice. Ah. The good thing is actually when you eat in one of these hawker stalls in a shopping center is that you can be sure that it's really clean. So for anybody who is always a little bit worried about hygiene, in here you have really really good hygiene which was probably outside is good too but you know we have a bit more of a risk price wise i think it's fantastic I mean, my dish here is actually 95 baht only which is just about three dollars we bought two drinks they were 50 and, and 70 baht for the strawberry one so that's you know between a dollar 50 and two dollar and we have a lovely tom yum which i actually have to taste and with that there is some rice with omelette coming as well and that was 150 baht which is basically just under five dollar oh my god that's nice mm, i'm jealous i want this it's really i mean there you can say so basically for for just ten dollars we have for two people a really nice lunch with drinks and everything can't complain here. The one 
thing one always forgets is when you have these drinks, beautiful strawberry shake, there's always salt in it. I don't know why, but my drink was actually really salty. And this one here, a little bit of salt in as well. So just be careful, don't be offended. Also, oh, there's salt in it, it's actually pretty normal. We want to have something coconutty, some coconut ice cream. So let's see, I think at the end of the line there's some nice stuff that we want to try out. Give me the skip, don't eat that. I think we'll have some Toppings, what you want, some fresh coconut, some coconut ice cream. We have some sweet corn as well because that's quite normal here. And mm, coconutty, very nice. Love it, love it. If you like it or you've seen, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and of course to share. So I'll see you all soon again. Cheers!